In a one kilometer race, runner one on track one completes the race in two minutes and 27.95 seconds, or 147.95 seconds, if you convert that into seconds alone. Runner two on track two completes the race in two minutes and 28.15 seconds, or 148.15 seconds. Now, it looks like runner number one is faster, since they completed the race in a shorter amount of time. But the problem warns us that the length of track two might be a little longer than track one. If track two is long enough relative to track one, then runner two might actually be faster than runner one. The problem asks us to find out how large the difference in track lengths can actually be before we can no longer confidently conclude that runner 1 is faster than runner 2. In the case where the difference in track length is at its maximum that it can be for this situation, then both runners' average speeds should be identical. So let's set uh, S sub average 1, the average speed of runner 1, equal to S sub average 2, the average speed for runner 2. This means that L sub 1 divided by T sub 1, or the average speed of runner 1, basically, again, just rewritten in terms of length and time variables, will be equal to L sub 2 divided by uh, T sub 2, the length and time of the race that runner 2 had to run through. The L's refer to the lengths of each track, assuming they're different, and the T's refer to the time it takes for each runner to reach their goal. We want to algebraically solve for L sub 2 minus L sub 1, or the difference in lengths, where L sub 2 is larger. First, we multiply both sides by T sub 2, to get L sub 2 on its own. Then we subtract L sub 1 from both sides uh, so that we can get what we're looking for. We can also simplify this slightly by factoring out the L sub 1. We now have a pretty good expression for the difference in track lengths. All that's left to do is plug in our time values. And we find that the length of difference is about 0 0.00135 times L sub 1, the length of track 1. Since the race is, in theory, supposed to be around 1 kilometer long, uh, let's put 1,000 meters in for L sub 1 to get an approximation of what the difference actually is. If some of the tracks in this race are longer than other tracks, then at least some of the tracks won't actually be precisely 1,000 meters. So I'll drop a significant figure to emphasize this uncertainty and lack of precision. Because of that, we find the difference to be about 1.4 meters. This is as long as track 2 can be relative to track 1 before we can no longer confidently claim that runner number 1 is the faster runner.